Meaningful Use Reports number 25, Syndromic Surveillance Data Submission. Objective, capability to submit electronic syndromic surveillance data to public health agencies and actual submission according to applicable law and practice. Measure, performed at least one test of certified EHR technologies, capacity to provide electronic syndromic surveillance data to public health agencies and follow-up submission if the test is successful, unless none of the public health agencies to which an EP submits such information has the capacity to receive the information electronically. Attestation requirement, either yes or no. In the WRS system, yes, if any syndromic surveillance message was generated during the reporting period. Exclusion. Any EP who does not collect any reportable syndromic information on their patients during the EHR reporting period or does not submit such information to any public health agency that has the capacity to receive the information electronically. Steps to establish a syndromic surveillance connection. Contact your state health department to determine this information is collected. Provide waiting room solutions with the health department contact information. Waiting Room Solutions will work with your state health department to establish the connection if it is available. Now let's go over how a syndromic surveillance message is generated. If a diagnosis of a reportable condition based on an ICD-9 code is selected on the assessment and plan page, then a message will be created automatically. Let's add influenza. Now I'll add tuberculosis. Now I'll sign the note to finalize the reportable diagnoses. No further action is required. Waiting Room Solutions maintains a master list of reportable diagnosis codes based on the CDC recommendations. If a connection is established to your state health department, then no further action is required on the part of the practice or user.